Thank you, Giorgio, for uh, that introduction. I'm talking to myself in here. <laughs> um, yeah, so thank you for the introduction. Thank you for coming. Um, we're going to spend a little while really looking at the uh, accounting, control, and measurements of a lean organization. Uh, but first of all, I want to ask you some questions. So how many of you work in manufacturing companies? Okay, that's about two-thirds, three-quarters, maybe? Good. How many of you are your companies actively using lean methods? Okay, about a third of the people. Okay. How many of you are accountants? Oh, good, good. So we have uh, quite a lot of the good people. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to um, speak first on the uh, what's called lean accounting issues and then after the break uh, we will look at performance measurements and, uh, and how those apply. I want to start off though with, um, we'll be looking at what are the economics of lean. How does lean work financially? Then I want to spend a little time saying how do we calculate the financial benefit of lean improvement? And then I want to go on to five different ways that you could make more money with being a lean organization. <coughs> now, um, then we'll look at how do you make decisions. Now, um, that last piece we will talk about if you listen very quickly in the first three. Okay, I will write that joke down <laughs> and you can laugh about it later. <laughs> but uh, the first three are my focus and uh, we will talk about the last one if we have time. Um, so the economics of lean, what is it about lean? See, if you, if you talk with many people, they would say that lean is to do with cutting your costs. Now this is quite wrong. Lean is not about cutting costs, lean is about growing the business. So uh, it's not about cutting costs, it's about growth. And why is this? What are the steps? Well, step one is we need to understand the value that we create for our customers. You know, my experience is that many companies are very focused on themselves. The starting point of lean is to focus on the customer's needs and the value that you can provide for the customer. Then we move to eliminating waste. Now, the definition of waste is uh, anything that you do that the customer would not willingly pay money for. 